name's Tony Fawcett, and welcome to Now Daft. So, I'm in Landovery. Uh, I'm here before the rest of the team get here, so I thought I would just sneak out for a little cheeky ride, and uh, I rode into Landovery. Clear blue skies, it's absolutely beautiful. So I thought I'd have a quick look at the castle, quick look at this guy. He would appear he's lost his head, or he's melted in the sun. And uh, yeah, so I'm down in Landovery for something quite special. I'm uh, down to ride a new bike that hasn't launched, that will have launched by the time this video comes out. Uh, I'm getting the opportunity from Scott, so I'm going to be part of the, the campaign for the, the new foil. Uh, I will feature in the new advert. I'm pretty sure it's going to be quite cool, and uh, I'm buzzing to be part of it. So yeah, pretty nice night. Anyway, better get cracking with the natin. Most of all, out daft. <laughs> Oh, look at that. The all new foil. So beautiful. So aero. Apparently, 1 minute 18 seconds faster over 40 kilometres. I'm riding the range top and ultimate model, which tips the scales at just over 7 kilograms, which is incredible for an aero bike. I'm a little bit nervous about how the day is going to go because it's, uh, it's actually my first time being in any sort of advert and the people I'm filming with are quite big time so I'm really quite nervous about getting me little camera out and filming around them so I might struggle a little bit for footage today so it's day two of the filming for the for the new bike launch uh, my shoulder is playing up so I've got a bit of a lifesaver ibuprofen proper loaded up on these bad boys now hopefully that should get us through the rest of the day riding my bike yesterday was quite tiring it's a lot of stop starting but like full gas efforts so I thought it wouldn't be much, I thought it would be a lot of standing around and not a lot of riding. And I think I probably ended up mounting up quite a lot of riding, a lot of full gas efforts. Today, I think I'm riding behind a motorbike most of the day. So that's going to be pretty hard. Anyway, I will try and get some footage from the shoot, but it's just difficult with the bike being embargoed and things like that. But uh, I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll let us do bits and pieces. Plus, the people that are filming it are proper big, big time. So I feel like a little bit of a knobhead when I pull my little camera out and they've got these big huge cameras. I suppose it's horses for courses, but uh, yeah, I still feel a bit like a knobhead. And to be fair, I am a knobhead, aren't I? So anyway, better get cracking with that. And most of all, now daft. Hey. <laughs> so I'm just filming. This is the new bike. Look at that little puppy. Getting all the new toys to play with today. So just heading up to where we're filming today. So quite a beautiful place. Absolutely mega. So it looks like the rain is stopping play. Yeah, just nearly fell off. That wouldn't have been a good start. There's me film crew. It's quite a lot of stop starting this being a bit of a film style. Uh, it's not all it's cracked up to be, but as you can see, I have started wearing sunglasses inside, which, you know, all major mega stars do. What I will say is the bike is absolutely incredible. Uh, it just feels so stiff, but not uncomfortable stiff. Strange one. Hard to explain. The bike itself feels absolutely amazing. So, anyway, better get cracked with the now. Most of all, no daft. So, drag it on again. It's kind of cool. Between shots, uh, you probably can't see it, but there is a motorbike following us with some sort of steady cam on. It's proper, like, behind the scenes GM Bond shit. It's uh, yeah, quite impressive. Look at me film crew. Got this guy, this guy Milky up here, keeping an eye out. Got my film crew, they're just moving. I've got the motorbike guy over there. All for now daft. It's not really. It's for this bike, as you can see. The all new foil, quite a special looking rig. Absolutely amazing place. 
uh, I'm, I am in Wales, as you will have guessed. And this is, uh, I think it's called Llewellyn, Llewell I'm going to absolutely butcher this pronunciation. As you all know from the Mallorca Diaries, that uh, I'm not that good at pronunciation of foreign languages. So I think it's called Llewellyn Brian. That's me best Welsh I can do. Uh, and it's just an amazing place. There's like literally nobody here. The reservoir is absolutely unbelievable. And it's just such a beautiful place. So quiet. I was hoping for a full makeup wardrobe team, but I haven't gotten one. That's for me next shoot. I'm good at that. What's the what are those what's that list they call when like bands play? I have like a list of the, the submit. A list of demands. Yeah. Yeah. Mine's just getting longer and longer. I demanded a man on a motorbike with a camera and that's exactly what I'm getting. So I'm pretty much coming to the end of the shoot now. Uh, I think we've got a few more shots. I've just literally ridden around the whole outside uh, and just heading back to the lads now. I've been doing a lot of work behind what they call a cine bike, which is kind of cool. It's like I'll, well, you will have seen the footage. Uh, it looks like some sort of film from a James Bond movie. Really cool. Uh, yeah, just really quite privileged and honoured to get the opportunity to do this. Uh, so, yeah, thanks to everyone that's involved. And uh, do check out the advert that this video produced. I'll leave a link to the advert down below. It has been quite hard work, repetitive sort of full gas efforts, like sprints up and down hills. Not a lot of distance, but long time out on the bike. So anyway, better get cracking with the natin. Most of all, now daft. I'm in Bristol today. The last day of filming. Uh, I think we're heading to a nightclub, an office, or in the train station. Anyway, let's get cracking with the natin. So in the nightclub now, filming the nightclub scene. Uh, so I arrive early, too early, because the bike's fast. That's the whole story. Don't think I've ever been in a nightclub when it's not been open. Lakota in Bristol, and it smells. So I'm in the last part of the shoot, which is in the office. So let's get cut on with a napkin and go and step in the office and get this advert done and call it a what the they would call in the industry a wrap. Yes. Got to ride the Vespa. Bristol's just the gift that keeps giving. First, Chris, are you planning on falling down the stairs? Yeah. Just sorry. in case. What? Safety never takes a day off. <laughs> and that is me done. Hey. It's a week after the launch video went live. Some of you will have seen it. If you haven't seen it, the link is in the description down below. Do check it out, do give that video a like, do give this video a like, and uh, please hit the subscribe button to hit us over the 5k, because we're coming up to 5k, uh, it would be great to like just tip us over the edge, 5,000 subscribers, and uh, thanks for watching, but most of all, now daft. <laughs>